Stay there, right there. <laughs> Welcome, Captain Salty's into the world show. It's Captain Salty's end of 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 the world show. <laughs> to erase my erasy board. I'm going to put the engine down. This one's overheating. It's overheating. I don't blame you, Henry. we got to do some really complex stuff next. We're going to teach people about your famous plays. Yes. This is the famous Henry Shakespeare, writer of Macbeth, Hamlet, Twelfth Night, all those, you know, really stodgy things you read back when, or pretended to, like most everyone did. <laughs> so, we have comprised the cast of Hamlet. This is Yorick. We all know Yorick. He's the skull. Mr. Tinkles will play the evil king. The monkey, or we found out it's actually a chimpanzee. They do not like to be called monkeys. They will complain and they will go to the head office and get you in a world of woe if you call them 
a monkey. They are not monkeys, they are a pays. You know what those are. Anyway, moving on, the rest of the Uncle Sal will fill in as the queen because we're not sure about his inclensions, let's say. <laughs> the dinosaurs will play Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. We don't like them, so there they go. There, you work Uncle Sal, and you will also play many other parts in the play. Act one, scene one, the castle tower. Whoa, it's cold. It's really cold. You're a wussy. I think I see a ghost. Well, you're, an, you're an ape, or an ape, apparently. So you don't know nothing. Let's go tell the prince. I guess that Henry will play Hamlet. Yo, prince. Yes. Uh, there's a ghost up on the tower. What do we do? Thou shalt go and defeat the ghost. We shall go and defeat the ghost. Okay. According to this little guy, who is, you know, an alien, the ghost is actually the ghost of your father, the old king. Well, we shall put him in a uh, den where in he cannot. Yes, where he cannot escape. We will put him in a den where he cannot escape. You know, I love this play so far. Oh, and and uh, and uh, the, the the dinosaur Red, who is going to be the foil of the play. The foil is a guy who wrecks stuff. Yo. Yo. We put your father, the ghost, in the den, and he stole the remote. Well, then we call him. Oh, if you steal the remote, that is a capital, capital crime. So, this play went really, really well. Don't you think, Henry? Yes. Cool. Is he talking too? Yes. I've noticed that when you talk, he talks too. Because he has the same thought as I have. Oh, my. Henry and Uncle Sal are of one mind, as though they've melded. Who knew? Who knew? You can meld. You don't meld. You just hold that shaker. Let go of the shaker. You get no kitten unless you let go of the shaker. Oops, that was loud. Yes. Yes. So... Do I talk to the little tiny head with a sombrero or to you? To me. And then, but he answers you for me like that. Wow, this is scary. We'll have to deal with this in a minute. So, back to the play. Hamlet, act two, scene uh, three or four. Oh, Hamlet. I love you. Why don't you pay attention to me? Why? Because I've been your long lost love forever. So have I. So have I? Okay then. I don't know where to go from there. Drama is hard. You know, how do you dramatate like without, you know, knowing where you're going? Ophelia, played by Red the Dinosaur, is appealing to Hamlet to remember his long love. And then we end up with a conundrum. We will get back to this in a moment. So, how you liking Hamlet so far, Henry? I like it. You like the play? You know you're the lead, right? You're Hamlet, right? Yes. I have a question since you wrote this play, right? When you were you're like, you're like 1,100 years old, right? Yeah. Yeah, he'd been around for a minute. So when you wrote the play, why did you pick Denmark? Seemed like a good place to be. Seemed like a good place to be. Awesome. Now you know. So when your teacher asks you, why was Hamlet set in the Palace Elsinore in Denmark. Well, according to Henry, who wrote it, seemed like a good place to be. Why not Copenhagen or someplace bigger? Didn't like it. Didn't like Copenhagen. 
Why? Got lots of bartenders. I'm sure there's plenty of kitten. It's Denmark, for gosh sake. Anyway. Matt, move on. Act three. Scene five or six. We're in the graveyard, bumming. Because, you know, that's what you do in the graveyard. Right? Okay, so you hold the skull. Give me that one. And you look at it and you go, Alas, poor Yorick, I knew thee. Alas, poor Yorick, I knew thee. He knew thee, you know. And, and then why, why are you sad? Because he's dead? Why are you sad? Are you dead? No, that's your, that's, I'm asking you. Are you sad because he's dead? No, I am not. I'm playing Horatio now. I'm just holding Uncle Sal because he's just a hanger-on. He's one of those Hollywood types that doesn't really do nothing, just sort of no, buys okay. the dinner, hangs out, you know. I bet his first name is actually Keith. <laughs> anyway, so, you're sad that the man's dead, right? Yeah. Cool. And when he was alive, what'd you all do? Party. We party. Potty, there is no R in potty. Okay, so, and then what? <laughs> After, then he bought you obviously potty too much because he looks like that. Yes, definitely did. Definitely did. So, the moral of Hamlet, the moral is something you should do even though you don't want to. Here, the moral of Hamlet, here. Can you read that? I can't. Looks like moron. What, what does that say, Henry? Moral. Moral. The moral of the story is don't over potty. Don't over potty. If you over potty, you will end up wackadoodle. You heard it from Henry Shakespeare and yours truly. Take that to the bank.